I grew up on a dairy farm. I was never had to be told to go to work. I always just did it on my own. I enjoyed doing it when I came home from school. If I wasn't playing a sport, I was always over working on the farm. Um, a lot of hard work, but really rewarding work. And uh, I think from a very young age, I knew that that was something that I wanted to be involved in. So my father moved to our location in Oakfield in 1966. Uh, at that time, he started milking with um, maybe about 65 cows. Uh, today, we milk on uh, four different locations, a total of about uh, 8,800 milking cows. My wife and I kind of have a passion for registered Holsteins as well as my father. It's kind of a hobby that we've been able to manage into a really good part of our business. And the markets have really been driven more towards genomics lately. We always had an index portion of our breeding program, uh, but we definitely ramped that up on the past 10 years since genomics has really become popular in the industry. And so we have really Aggressive embryo transfer program, we, we transfer about 6,500 embryos a year. About uh, a third of those are uh, IVF in vitro embryos, and the other two thirds are conventional embryos. Now we're to the point that we have our own prefixed animals, our own cattle that we have bred, and so we're able to flush those for the next generation for marketing purposes. My role with that basically is making sure that we're not missing anything. There's a lot of calves that are being born and we just want to make sure that we're not missing any of those elite index animals. Those home runs are few and far between, uh, but we're really happy when, when they come out because they tend to be the reason why we're in this business. If you don't lead, you're gonna follow. These technologies allow producers to become much more efficient, so from environmental efficiencies to cow efficiencies to labor efficiencies. The more efficient we can be, the more economic we can be in making food products. So we're really trying to put food on the market and uh, genomics has allowed us to enter kind of a new era of progress. And so theoretically, the, the, the faster progress we can make genetically, uh, hopefully the cheaper we can make food. And for those consumers that are more environmentally minded or environmentally focused, it should also allow us to reduce our carbon footprint because as we become, become more efficient, we're having to use less resources in order to make those food products. So the people who are in the dairy industry are the salt of the earth. I mean, they're, you know, I think most people in agriculture are just the best people out there. You know, they're honest, hardworking and um, great mentors for kids to be in that environment, to see those people that work so hard that are dedicated to um, basically providing food for people to, to feed the world. We think the future is bright. We're really excited to be a part of agriculture. There's definitely going to be changes and so we need to be ready for those changes and we need to embrace those changes. Uh, we need to continue to strive to be more efficient, whether that's uh, in how we breed our cattle, um, how we produce crops, how we make milk, uh, that's just going to be a part of uh, being in business in the future and we need to continue to do better every year. Uh, you never know what each day is going to bring. Uh, certainly it brings challenges but it also brings rewards. <laughs>